Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Aldo Santillán, director editorial de Grupo Avanmex y al día de hoy tenemos el gusto y el placer de poder platicar con Ray Su. Él es presidente de BYD México. Ray, thank you very much for this time with you. Thank you. Thank you for coming tonight. Well, what is the company's main objective in introducing electric vehicles into the Mexican market and how does this fit into the BYD's overall strategy? Okay, so for BYD, so our goal is to provide the Mexico market affordable EV to everyone. So today you can see we have a premium sedan as you be coming to the market. But in the meantime, we have a very affordable middle size SUV, the UF Plus EV, also fits in this market. Apart from that, for BYD, the end of this year, we will launch a lot of more new models like the entry version sedan entry version hatchback and most importantly BYD we're going to introducing our plug-in hybrid technology to this market as well. So in terms of the BYD strategies you know Mexico is the second largest market in Nadam and it's a strategic partner uh, it's a strategic uh, market for BYD as well. So we have a company here since 2013 but it's meaning on the B2B side we provide the large uh, the largest taxi fleet here in Mexico. We have the largest electric trucks fleet as well. But right now, today is a milestone. It's a historic moment for BYD to start to officially sell to all the, cli all the clients in Mexico. And it's fit out strategy to provide the Mexico consumer the better choice regarding the new energy vehicles. What steps is BYD taking to address concerns about charging infrastructure and electric vehicle range in Mexico, especially considering that the country's geographic and demographic conditions that we have here? So, yes, right now, indeed, the, the charging infrastructure is a, is a bit, little bit of a challenge right now in this market. But what BYD can do right now? So we are we, we're trying to, through the different approach, to try to make, to try to facilitate the construction of the charging infrastructure. So first, BYD is keep talking with the government to see, to facilitate or to encourage the government to have a more charging infrastructure for the public. The, the second is BYD, we are partner with our strategic partnership. For example, we are partner with BAMO. So BAMO has uh, more than 600 taxis right now running on the street. They are building a lot of charging infrastructure. Okay, apart from that, we are also working with our partner like Enel X. Okay, so they are building the charging infrastructure for our bus fleet, and also they are building the charging infrastructure for our clients of the trucks. In the same, the lastly is we are working also with our dealer partners like in Liverpool. So Liverpool has more than 100 department stores nationwide, so they're gonna build in the charging infrastructure as well. So by this different approach, BYD Mexico try to facilitate the construction of the charging infrastructure nationwide. Mexico has experienced growth in electric vehicle adoption in the recent years. We have seen some other brands here, but how does BYD plan to compete with other electric manufacturers in the local okay. market? And what advantages do its or your products offer compared to the competition? Okay, so for BYD actually, I think we are extremely confident to compete in this market for the following reason. So first, BYD, we are the OE, only OEM to produce power batteries so far as a car manufacturer. So we can produce the core components of our power batteries. Second is BYD has a core competitive advantage towards other competitors is we are developing our own battery management system. We are developing our own electric motors, our own electric powertrains, and most important is BYD developing our own electric car platform. Okay, so that's, comp that's only for electric car. Lastly, I want to mention is BYD also, we have a capability to build in the semiconductor as well. Okay, so by this kind of approach, we are very confident. They, you can see the warranty terms we just launched. We provide eight years, 200,000 kilometers range for our power battery as a, as a, as a warranty and we guarantee there is 70% remaining for the battery, okay? In the same time, we also provide eight, eight years warranty for the, all the core components, like the high voltage system, electric motors, etc. 
So this is the confidence we have. Okay, U.S. and European automakers have historically dominated the automotive industry, even in Mexico. So how does BYD expect to change this situation and what actions will the company take to gain the trust of the Mexican consumers? It has to do a lot, a lot of what you have just explained to us. Yes, so, so right now, so by the strategic partnership with our 11 dealers partner, first, right now, we're going to build in our sales network nationwide. Okay, so for the end of this year, we're going to have a 15 showroom to be built in all the major city in Mexico. And we try to expand it to 40 showroom uh, next year. At the same time, right now, if you go to our showroom, you will see it's very high standard. It's a very fancy showroom. And we, together with our dealer's partner, we will also offer the excellent after-sales service as well to all the clients here in Mexico. So with excellent products, with an affordable price, and with a excellent after-sales service, we are confident we can become a very important player in this market. You just showed a few minutes ago that the future is now, but thinking uh, about the future concerning job creation and economic development, does BYD have plans to establish manufacturing or assembly facilities in Mexico? And if you do, do you have any, uh, any, any plans already? Yes, yeah, so for BYD right now, we are the largest new energy vehicle producer, uh, right? Okay, so start from this year, you can see BYD, we try to become more and more as a global brand. Okay, so if you see the news, you will see we have our factories under construction right now in Thailand. We're also invest a lot for overseas. Yes, for BYD, we are open to talk to the government to try to bring the production facility in Mexico. Right now, we are under evaluate and we are open to talk with the government or talk with our partner for the local assembly. Uh, finally, considering the, uh, the growing concern for sustainability and the environment in Mexico, uh, how does BYD plan to contribute to meeting emissions reduction degrees and the targets that, that, that have been planned worldwide? And how will the company ensure that its operations are envi environmentally responsible? Okay, so, so right now, uh, as you see, Uh, right now in Mexico, uh, the, it's, it's a little bit heavily polluted right now. Okay, so by promoting what BYD did right now is from the B2B side right now you can see, we will try to duplicate our experience in China, like in Shenzhen, to try to electrify first all the public transportation. Okay, so that is why right now you can see in terms of the taxi segment, we have more and more electric taxi running into operational in the market. In the same time, we work with our strategic partner like FEMSA, Group Modelo, Lala, etc., to promote the electric deliver truck, delivery trucks. Okay, so right now we are bringing the few, uh, you know, zero emission electric car to the market as well. So that is why, by this different approach, we try to make some contribution to uh, for for the green, you know, environment in Mexico. Right, please, a final message to the people that is watching us right now. Okay. Yeah, so, so thanks, uh, thanks everybody for the trust of all the consumer here in Mexico. So right now today is BYD uh, historic moment to officially launching here in Mexico. And for BYD, we guarantee we're going to provide all the consumers here in Mexico the best and the most competitive products in this market. And our electric car, our new energy vehicles, is affordable for everyone. Reisu, presidente de BYD México, nos acompañó el día de hoy con un lanzamiento muy especial. Síganos para que conozcan todos los detalles de los vehículos eléctricos de esta importante marca que está lanzando hoy en México. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.